XP farming, sirens, and foxes. This is going to be a good one. So what's up everybody, Jay here, and this time we're focusing on some stuff that happens during Postscript. If you haven't made it to Postscript yet, this is following chapter 21, and I will give out the warning now, there may be minor spoilers ahead. So to get this going, all you need to do is just follow the main events of Postscript all the way until they lead you to Icicle Ridge. Once Refia shows you the extra path inside Icicle Ridge, congratulations, you have now found your new XP farming spot. You can actually stay here now or even come back later. This is a great spot for farming, mainly because there's a save point right there and an exit gate. And this place works a lot like the extra area inside Nether Nebula does. This is all the same monsters that you fought when you were here earlier in the game, just a lot stronger, or more importantly, worth a lot more XP. Fights here can range anywhere from about 68,000 to 100,000 XP. And many of the mirages are weak to fire. So if you just want to load up with fire stacks and throw some extra guys in your party just for the XP, feel free. So when you're done farming XP for now and you're ready to move on, go ahead and save and load up just your strongest party. The QB boss that you're going to battle doesn't really have any weaknesses, so just bring whatever you want to. Move on all the way to the right and battle QB. Once that's done, make sure you don't accept to go into the final challenge with Seraphie. After you tell her no, head back to the girls' tea room and save. Don't forget to go into your adventure log and claim your reward. Now for the next battle, you want to make sure that your stacks are loaded up with ice damage. So Shiva, Chivalry, any other mirages you have with lots and lots of ice damage. If you want to, you can also try to fit Dispel somewhere into your stack, but you don't absolutely have to. So when you're ready to go, go over to the girl and accept the A Smidge of Micro Envy Intervene quest. This will put you in a battle against the Diva Seraphie, which is a replica of Siren. She can cast things like Haste and Sleep, but if you unload all your ice damage on her, the fight should go pretty quick. And after this battle is over, make sure to collect your reward. And with that done, you now have the transfig for Tama, Seraphie, and you have Sirens also. But I had said that there was two foxes, so let's go get a QB. So from here, save up if you want to, and then head over to the Coliseum. For the rematch with QB, you need to bring Doom with you. Doom is what triggers its opportunity, and your best bet on this one is going to be the Mimaculous. The, the, Mima, the Mimaculous. Why did you make me have to say his name again? Bring the other Sphinx. And thankfully, Doom is not far into his Mirage board, so if you don't have it unlocked, put him in your party, go back to the farm spot you just opened, and do a couple battles. If you want in the other party, you can put somebody with haste just to try to help out, or somebody with healing spells to make sure everybody can stay alive. A useful thing to have for this fight also, but not mandatory, is slow. So if you want to build that second stack with slow, or bring a spider silk, you can. So head over to the Tonberry, and look for the Bad Fox, Bad Fox level 73 fight. Once you're in here, begin casting Doom immediately. Doom has a really low proc rate, so this is why bringing haste, or haste and slow, is a big help. Slowing down the Fox's turns really help out, but more importantly, speeding up your stack with the Sphinx is going to help you cast more Dooms. So just keep casting until it procs. Now, if you want to be risky, you can try to cast it again to get a second stack of his Pristunity, but I would say just stick with the one. The Doom Timer can go by pretty quick, and you don't want to find yourself thinking you can get in a second cast and then find yourself not able to actually capture him before it goes off. So there you go. Two Fox Mirages, two versions of Siren. Oh, and a spot to go farm some XP. So hopefully this helped you out. If it did, leave a like, maybe subscribe. I'm gonna have more tips, uh, tons of other stuff coming up, whatever I feel like. So now go, go level up, go get built up, go do the final battle. Cause in that way you can come back, cause trust me, I've got stuff for after that final battle. So I'll see you in the next one, later.